I've had a few questions about girls and body image and how moms can help. So I thought I'd do a quick video for you. This is a big topic and it should be. Women in the United States have been burdened with a completely unrealistic cultural notion of what we're supposed to look like, and it's everywhere you turn. I'm not sure it even helps to know that the models we see are photoshopped. There's still a standard set for what is ideal. It's almost guaranteed that you absorb this growing up, a message about the way I should be, and have, compared, have been comparing yourself to it ever since. What a tragedy. I really mean that. The reality is that people come in all shapes and sizes and that shape and size do not denote personality traits. But I'll tell you, as crazy as these messages are, as many women as they've traumatized, we're having a very hard time giving them up. So that's the United States. But have you ever watched TV series or movies from the UK? What a breath of fresh air. The characters are regular human beings. Their teeth are not perfectly straight. Their bodies are of varying shapes and sizes. And without the befuddlement of Photoshop, you can feel the personality of the character radiate through her eyes. I often think of all creatures great and small. Helen is absolutely beautiful. Her character beams joy and humor, and she's not cut out in the American mold. What is so encouraging to me is that moms are aware that these ideas are reflexively, almost subliminally, communicated to our daughters, and you're trying to prevent that. Two moms in the past two days have asked me for information about this. I'll offer some starting points here and then a couple of resources for you. First, there's a great truth that the trip we lay on ourselves, we're liable to lay on our daughters. So the place to begin when it comes to establishing within your daughter solid, positive feelings about her own unique body is with yourself. We are so much more able to love our daughters just as they are when we're able to love ourselves just as we are. And it's crucial to our daughters that we do. Crucial, it's not even a good enough word. To accept and love yourself can be hard, but do it anyway. Watch some of those UK shows and be charmed or fascinated with a female character who's a normal, healthy woman. Do some research. If you begin to study issues of weight, you'll find that everything from hormones to genetics to, increasingly, gut bacteria are implicated in weight. The more you read, the more neutral you will become. Second, Beware in any way conveying the message that body shape and size are measures of self-worth. Honestly, it makes me cry to think about this. Can you imagine how tragic it is for the majority of women to feel unworthy because they don't look like photoshopped models? It's beyond words, and I know you don't want that for your daughter. Third, Focus with your daughter on attunement to her body. Does she feel good in her body? Can she work with her unique strengths and limitations? I, for instance, am not built to be a ballerina. I'm okay with that now. But being cast, this is, this is sad, it's funny, but it's sad. Being cast as a mushroom in the four-year-old's recital did not help me feel positive about myself. We have to help girls with the messages they pick up about themselves. Forget about the clean plate club. Forget about connecting how much she eats of your latest recipe with her love for you. Instead, help check on when her stomach's telling her that it's full. Participate in joyous activity with her. You don't have to take a class. There are tons of videos. Mother-daughter yoga is an example or take a hike or a bike ride. Grow her critical thinking. 
so she can recognize and point out the cultural brainwashing that's going on and love her as she is. Look inside yourself to see whether somehow your daughter is absolutely normal, but not culturally idealized body shape somehow triggers a feeling that you're failing her. When we feel we're failing our children, we're likely to have an urgent need to change whatever is causing that. So know yourself. Your daughter's body is her body. Her shape is her shape. We've simply got to change our thinking about beauty. Now, two resources for you. First, a mom-recommended book. The title is Mothers, Daughters, and Body Image, Learning to Love Ourselves as We Are. Do you hear a theme here? The author is Hilary McBride, and I'll put these two resources in the comments as soon as I'm finished. The second is a website, www.amightygirl.com. This is a magnificent resource. For this particular topic, look under parenting for body image. And if you've found other resources, definitely add them into the comments, please. This is such a heartfelt topic. Sharing experiences really helps. That's it for today. Bye for now.